action, it's so likely to have a silent grabber, which I detest. So I think I think Onslaught mod should almost come bundled with um, something similar to what Prop Joe's mod is, where it tells you when, when an assassin or a packmaster spawns. Or you play a four, and then you can just respond to it, which is fine too. I just, I detest, I detest no warning packs in assassins. Follow the tracks, darlings! Chaos warrior sighted! Yeah, of course it's balanced around groups. <laughs> yeah, I loved Onslaught and Vermintide 1, so I'm excited for this coming out. That's retarded. Oh, I shouldn't use that word. Maybe I'm tired. I don't usually use words like this. Okay, would you just be dead? Just have some cookies. Well, it's still an issue if you're near the edge of a horde because you'll insta die when the horde is as thick as it is. Jesus Christ, be dead. This guy's got sleep apnea like you wouldn't believe. Alright, I'll catch you later. See ya, bud. Okay, this is taking forever. Come on, Horde. I think uh, I think it's great. I think it's a lot of fun. I think there's definitely going to be some builds right now that are too much, like Merc and with Chitter Captain gold spam and stuff. But I like that it makes stagger important and stuff and positioning important. So even if... That's a huge mistake, actually. I know, honey.
As soon as I'm done this one, we'll get out of here, hon. You all can guess what that means. Watch. I was trying to be greedy. Let's try to be greedy. Almost died. I really like this. Beams, the right click's probably a little overtuned, but I really, really like the health mechanic now. It's probably overtuned, but it feels good.
Oh, I didn't know you couldn't jump back. Ow! That was a positioning mistake, like crazy. My build's wrong, by the way. The crit chance on the melee weapon should be something else. And it's not like, this is the difference between this build and the insane power of, um, of, of Slayer. This shouldn't be a thing.
Oh my! I got back for the heal strength pot, but I have no idea if this is correct. Nope, it's not. Actually, it is. Wow, that's super abusive.
have no idea where this can come from. This is so nerve wracking. Oh, this is so annoying. Gas rat. already. Ran out of energy.
GG The portal's open. Time we were gone. They nerfed Wiggle and they made Blot actually dodge, you know, actually dodge. And this feels so much more fun than it did a week ago. Whew. Just a just a casual thirty one thousand damage. No no problems. No problems. So as you noticed, lots and lots and lots of venting was necessary. Let me explain the build. This is the key of the build. Bonded flame. Bonded flame gives you pretty huge heal every time you pop it. Basically, this build is a glass cannon. You only have 120 HP to work with, and you're going to have to vent. Since you have to vent, you're never actually going to be at full HP. You're going to be at like a half, maybe half a third above, right? So you're going to fluctuate up and down, up and down. As you get a little on the low side, you pop Bonded Flame to get back up, to give you more HP to vent with. And then you use Spirit Binding, which is um, a heal on melee blow every so often. Try to weave in a couple melee shots because every time you get a melee kill, you get a little tiny bit of a temporary HP. But more importantly, if you get a little bit of temporary HP, it shuts off the bleeding, the loss of a temporary HP for three seconds. So the play style is somewhat similar to Bounty Hunter in that you need to melee reset and then do a bunch of range and venting and range and then switch to melee vent, a uh, melee reset again. But what you're resetting is the bleed out. You gotta get in there and get some melee kills to bleed out. And also, if you can set yourself up a kill by doing two beam blasts and then a couple taps um, to a storm vermin or to a mauler, you can get a quick melee kill and get a lot of temp HP off of that. So, the utility of spirit binding is you get a ton of HP if you manage to get yourself a kill on an elite, or you can keep your temp health from draining out. This is your battery, this is what recharges you. Um, crit chance. Reduction, this doesn't matter. These are all useless. These are all useless. But reduction in crit chance um, means you have more likelihood of proccing heat sink. Now, I was using Swift Slaying, but this could, in fact, be resource reduction, Res uh, the resource full slayer, whatever it's called, the one that does cooldown reduction on melee crits. And you probably don't need the crit here. You probably need attack speed or maybe anything else. I don't know. Probably a breakpoint. I'm not sure what belongs there. The bottom line is the melee is there to enable the rest of the blade, the build. And you get so much crit off of this, up to 30% crit, usually like 20, 25%, that you could be procking Resourceful pretty often to get Bonded Flame off pretty often. I think Resourceful is going to get nerfed because the synergies are too stupid. But even without nerfs, even without the synergy, it's enough with the 60 second cooldown and for plus 50 HP. They could nerf this a little bit to like 35 and leave the 60 second cooldown where it is and it'd be a little bit more on the reasonable side. But I, I don't think it's insane, right? It looks more than it is because in real play, you're never gonna be the one getting all the hits and such. So you won't be able to reset this as often. You won't be able to get um, this up as often, blah, blah, blah. What else? A couple other things. Block cost reduction here and here. So if you have to clutch block, it's there, but dodge is the key to the build. Plus HP is huge, of course. Bunashalia enables the temp health reduction and generation here and from here to be more powerful. I think it's better than natural bond in this build by a lot. You need armor, Skaven, armor, and the 10% searing focus here, so you can double tap Stormvermin into the body. Another crit here is fine. Oh, I didn't even have the right thing. This is supposed to be, for solo, it's supposed to be this. Where is it? I didn't even have the right thing on. That's hilarious. Um, it's supposed to be this. Moose speed crit. Grenadier, and I would probably use either move speed curse resistance or move speed or um, 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 cooldown curse resistance for pub play. I like Grenadier more than any others in all contexts these days. Anything else? Okay, the most important part, the most important thing. In order to do this build, you need to be able to vent. You need to be able to vent 
while dodging in any direction. So the way I do that is I have Vent both on R and on Caps Lock. So if you can do R while hitting Shift, if you have Vent on R, right, like you normally do, and dodge on Shift like most people do, it's impossible to be able to Vent will go in any direction. So I use Auto Hotkey so I can make Vent on both on R and Caps Lock. So I can have... it. All my Auto Hotkey does is let me send the same key with different things. If that functionality was in the base game, you wouldn't even need it. But basically, you have Vent on Caps Lock and Dodge on Wheel Down in addition to the normal way of doing it. So you can hold Dodge, right? Hold Caps Lock for Vent and then mouse wheel down and we're moving in either direction smoothly. So... So I can hit R for vent or I can hit caps lock for vent. So if I can hit caps lock I can hold caps lock and then use my mouse wheel down to dodge while going any direction. So I use auto hotkey so I can have my normal keys for R because I can't break the habit of using R for reload for normal weapons, but I use caps lock to vent for Sienna and wheel down at the same time so I can do those sick, those sick one eat, dodge, dodge, jump, dodge while venting type things. Uh, one more key note, while you're venting, your move speed is garbage, right? But if you dodge, it ignores it. So dodging while venting is the key to getting vents off. Is there an argument for resourceful on staff over heatsink? Probably. Probably. But I feel like... I, I'd have to test it. I haven't tested it. But I feel like the more the build has to like cycle through getting cooldowns, cooldowns, cooldowns off of your procs into ult into cooldowns, the less time you're doing productive things. Like A lot of people think Sienna's ult is powerful. It's not. It's not very good at all. The only thing it's good against is Shield Rats and Chaos Warriors. Everything else you're better off using your right clicks or your Sienna left clicks. It's very slow. It makes you vulnerable for a long period of time. The wind-up is long. The damage output isn't great. Um, it makes you vulnerable. I don't like her ult. I use it basically as utility in Chaos Warrior kill. And sometimes you want it for a guaranteed kill against a Packmaster. Is Heat Sync necessary? I feel like it really helped with the Heat gener the heat management, right? Because you get like 25-30% crit rate, 5 here, 5 here, and then 5 base, that's 15, plus up to like 20-25% here, so 35-40% crit. That's uh, quite a lot, it, like it's it's quite a lot of um, heat management. If you don't have it, it means you won't be able to spam as much into, um, into monks or maulers, but there could be an argument made for hunter. There could be an argument made for Hunter. There could be an argument made for Barrage. I don't know what's correct. Um, anyways, the bottom line is this build requires a lot, lot, lot more micro than Wigglemancer, but it rewards you quite a bit, and it's a lot of fun to play. It's going to be a challenge to learn it because you've got to learn your clutch dodges and your clutch parries, right? And then getting melee vents off. You're probably going to have to use auto hotkey, so you can use multiple keys for the same thing, and relearn your hotkeys. So it's probably going to take a lot of work to get to the point where you can play this build smoothly. But the reward for doing so is it's like some really cool play. I very much enjoy playing this. Beam pirate, like beam Sienna, like this style of beam Sienna, of up in your face, venting in your face while clutch dodging. That's what V1's V Sienna was all about, and I love it. Like somebody should get General Soap in here, because he'd be having fun with this. Anyways, if anyone else experiments with this, let me know. Let me know. Uh, I got to get out of here, guys. I'm way late on my wife.